Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Good afternoon, Mark. Good afternoon. Right. Today we are going to talk about a very particular scenic area. Okay. Now, where do we live? We live in Changchun. Yeah. Where? What province is Changchun in? Changchun is in Jilin Province. Is in Jilin Province. Now. Jilin Province is very big. Yes.、Mm -hmm. Can you tell me another scenic area within Jilin? Scenic area. What is a scenic area? A scenic area is somewhere of natural beauty or a specific place, a tourist attraction. For example, a dormant volcano full of water. 自然景观 right? Okay. I think in Changchun there's one place that's very popular. Everybody knows it, Jingyue Tan. Jingyue Tan, yes. Or you could have said Changbai Mountain. Yeah. yeah, that is a very beautiful scenic area. But yes, you are right. Today we are going to talk about Jingyue Tan National Scenic Area. But for us who live here in Changchun City, we also know it as. Jinyuan Tan or Jinyue Park. It is located in Changchun City itself. Now, roughly from the center of Changchun City,、mm -hmm. it is about eighteen kilometers away. But as we know, depending where you live, it can be closer. Okay. Now here we have a picture of Jinyuan Tan Park. Okay, what can you see? I can see a lake. A lake. And okay. I think forest, maybe. Yeah, it's a forest. And the white one is that a tower or something else? Yeah. I'm not sure. Bridge. Okay. Now, yes, you can say we've got water. We've got a forest. This here. A bridge. It's sort of like a bridge. It's a dam. Dam. Ah,、oh, that、okay. is a dam. It's a dam. Dam. Yeah, we have some sort of tower here.、Mm -hmm. This actually is a man-made lake. Yeah, lake. This is actually a dam. It was the first dam constructed in in Changchun to help the surrounding area with water. So this is actually very old. So this lake is. Man-made. Well, originally. Originally. Originally, you would have a small lake, but it's been extended. Here is the dam, so water is kept there and preserved. Okay. Now, Jinyuan Tan is very big. Okay, very big, very beautiful. Has anybody been there? I've been there when I was in the third grade. I think we we, we rowed a boat. You rowed a boat. Yeah. Okay, so. You can row a boat there. What else can you do there?、Uh, there are also a lot of restaurants there, and some some sightseeings. I remember it. Maybe there's a temple. I I, I remember I, I've seen the Buddhas, and also、um, a tower. Okay.、Mm. Now, with Jinyuan Tan, okay, as you can see, it is a giant lake. Yeah. Now, for us, this is a very popular place. It has a five A star. Okay, so it means it's a top top place to visit. So why is it a good place? As you can see, it's got trees. So the environment is very good there. Yeah,、mm -hmm. trees, very nice. Cool to walk in summer under the canopies of the trees. Fresh air, yeah, lots of fresh air. So you can go walking there, like you said. You could go play in the water itself.、Yeah. Now that's summer time. What about winter? Because I've been there in winter. What can you do there in winter? Skiing. I've been there too. <coughs> Skiing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a very small one. But imagine all this water is going to freeze. Yes. Yes. So, what can you do on a frozen lake? For example, I went there recently. 
last year and I went on a donkey sledge ride. Donkey? Yeah. Mostly I think it's dog slide. Ride a donkey because I got to beat it. Uh, I drove a car on there. You can go ice skating. You could also play on some sort of bikes. You can ride on the ice. Do they have the motor one? Yeah, they have um, jet skis or snow skis, as they call them. So you can play on the ice or just walk. Yeah, and every year they also make some sort of ice sculptures. Mm. Yeah. They cut the blocks of ice and they make buildings or some sort of animals, displays. So you could see them there as well because it's very cold in the winter. Now, this place is very important to us, not only because it has lots of things to do, but it's a place to go and enjoy our environment. Because this place, yes, you can drive around it. But there's not many cars that can go around it because it's a very small winding road all the way around it. Mm -hmm. So most people can go there and enjoy hiring a bike, having exercise and going around the area itself. Okay. Now, how did it start? How did this start? So now we have to go back in history. Okay. Now, like Chinese history, we have legends, okay, legends. Now, Jinyuan Tan Park has a sister, okay, has a sister. Now, where is the sister? Does anybody know? I know. The sister is in Taiwan. The sister is in Taiwan. So, let's think about this. China, Taiwan. Okay, sisters. So, what happened? What did happen? So, let's find out, okay? Now, according to the legend, the queen had seven daughters, okay? Mm -hmm. And one of them fell in love with a man. And the queen didn't like this. So, she decided to break it up, take away her daughters. And as the fairy's daughters flew off into the sky, the daughter that was in love with the man began to cry. And according to the legends, her, her tears fell from her eyes. One landed in Jilin province and formed Jinjuantan Park. And the other fell to the ground and landed in Taiwan. Okay. Now, the sister in Taiwan is called Sun Moon Lake. Okay? Yeah. So there's two lakes, sisters, all because of a love story and two tears falling to create this wonderful scenic area. Mark, do you remember, do you know that, what is the name of the sister in Taiwan? I mean the Chinese pronunciation, not um, Sun Moon Lake. It has another name. I would not know. It's called Tan. This is Jing Tan. That is Tan. Okay. Yeah. So they call they are they are like sisters. The pronunciations are very from, uh, similar to each other. Very similar. Mm -hmm. Surprised they didn't call it Jiejie. Yeah, <laughs> Jiejie. <laughs> yeah. But you know, these are the. Traditions, myths of history, okay. Now, like I said, Jinyuantam is actually man made. Mm. Majority of it is man made, but originally it was natural, okay. Now, Jinyuantam was the first water source, okay, to be built in 1934, okay, to help the urban area of Changchun City, okay. So that means we did something to feed the local people with water. A city does need water. Farm land, agriculture needs water. Now, they decided to build a dam, okay? Therefore, keeping the water 
and given us some sort of thing to drink. Now, Dinyuantan is very close to Chombai Mountain, which is also holds a lot of water, natural water. Now, with our province, we are above sea level, okay? So it's very interesting that we have this great area of water and natural beauty. Now, moving on from that, okay, let's have a look at this. Okay, this is Jinyuatan Park, all right? It's very beautiful. Lots of vegetation and natural water. So, as we could look at this picture, we could say the environment is very good there. Mm -hmm. The trees are all healthy, okay? That must mean there must be some sort of animal life living there as well, yeah. okay? Now, the park itself is very big, so the land is different, okay? Some of it's flat, some of it's raised. Now, Jinyuantan Park is surrounded, okay, by mountains. Surrounded, not literally next to it, but surrounded, okay, by 86 mountains from the north to the south of the edge of the lake, okay? So that would house it quite nicely because when you think a mountain is very tall, mm -hmm. the water, the rain, the atmosphere, would run down the mountains and eventually would collect like in a bowl. So it's in a perfect location to receive the water from these mountains. All right, here we go. Daja Mountain is the highest. Okay, the highest. Mark, you would call it a mountain or a hill? I personally would call it a hill. Because, to me, a mountain is above 1,000 meters above sea level. Mm -hmm. Now, technically, we are, um, depending on the country and where you are, at mm -hmm. different levels above sea level. Now, depending on the area you live at, you are technically 50 meters above sea level, 100 meters above sea level. Mm -hmm. You're not a thousand meters above sea level. If you were, you're on a mountain. I, I know that. So this is why I ask this question. But they've called it a mountain. You know, for example, I went to one mountain and it, I drove up it. It took me hours, hours to drive. But we got to the top mm -hmm. or the middle. And we drove 6,000 meters above sea level. 6,000 meters? Yes. Oh, that's quite high. Oh, yes. Uh, that, that was halfway. Okay. So that's 6,000 meters above sea level. But I didn't walk 6,000 meters. I didn't start at zero at sea level. I started some level above. But for me, this is a hill. Mm. Maybe because of the Chinese translation. Possibly. And sometimes we, we, want, we are uh, getting used to call it like... Shan, in the, the direct translation. Is mountain, is yes. mountain, yes. You know, because like for me, um, as we discussed, Jilin province grows corn. Now, if you were to leave this city and drive towards Jilin itself, it's very flat. There are some small hills, but... It's a hill, not a mountain. But you would call it a mountain. But that may be because of the word you describe something as. Yes. All right, so the park itself, Jinyuantan, all right, has a good temperature in the summer. It's open. Summer, depending on the year, can be hot. And in the winter, it can be cold. And we know it's cold because the lake will freeze and we can play on it. So the average temperatures can go from 28 above to, say, 23 minus. Mm -hmm. Now, moving on from that, 
depending on what time of the year you can go, you can see the different seasons. Summer, you have nice weather, the green trees, and then as you move into autumn, you will see the natural change from the, the colors of the leaves to them falling on the floor ready for winter. Okay, now the park itself is very big. You can travel around it if you like. Now, there is animals there. Okay, what sort of animals would be there? I've, I've seen birds, I've seen squirrels, mm -hmm. even a turtle. I've heard maybe some pheasants, but I've never seen them. I've seen squ squirrels there. Well, there could be anything there. When you look at the size of that park, there could be rabbits, mm. could be natural deer. What is natural deer? Deer. De uh, natural deer, okay. Yeah. You could have cows, for example, wild pigs. But wildlife will go where it is safe. Yeah. And with the size of that place and the lake, there's bound to be fish in there and other sorts of animals. Now, depending on the season you go, you will either be hot or you'll be cold. But that depends on what you like. But to go to a place that big, beautiful, see its natural beauty, because it's untouched, really. It's a huge park. All the trees are there, the lake's there. It is natural beauty. And depending on the time of the year, the climate, it can be hot, it can be very cold, or it can be very comfortable. It all depends on you. Now, tourists like to go there mm -hmm. just to experience it, as it has a five A star mark. But for us locals, we like to go there and relax. Spend time with friends, family, cycling, eating, it's a good place to chill out away from the busy city. Because remember, this park is 18 kilometers from Renmin Square, which technically was the center of the city. But as you know, Changchun has grown and grown and grown. So where is the center of the city now? I don't know, to be honest, but it'd be worth checking that out. But it's not that far. You can go there by car. Mm -hmm. You can take a bus. You can even take the light rail. Yes, the light rail is very convenient. Yeah. As long as you can get there, you can enjoy its natural beauty. Now, with that place, there's bound to be lots of things to see. It would have a museum, yes? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It would have some sort of religious place. Yeah, it would have buildings, historical buildings. I remember that there was a building right near to the dam, a white circular one, very small one. I don't know. But you have to go back and check it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now, are there any questions? No, thank you. You're welcome.